Yeah, what's good with them, gangy man? Welcome back to Speak On It TV, where we speak on anything, everything, and all necessary topics that need to be spoken about. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy Lil Pop Out 187. Make sure you go follow me on all socials, especially Instagram at Lil Pop Out 187. You dig what I'm saying? Today we're gonna talk about the Lucky and Destroy Lonely beef. I don't know if y'all have seen the viral clip going around of Lucky when he was chewing out that man, Destroy Lonely. But I think we got to get a little bit more into detail of what's really going on here in the situation and why it's going on here in the situation. So without a doubt, let's just get to it, man. But but wait, 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 wait. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's go. Stuff that was made even after my video, but allegedly he did some to his ex girlfriend, and right now it's just not looking good for bro. And there might be some more info that get released even after this video, but there's two things that stood out about this whole situation that nobody really talked about for real. And when everybody was looking at the tweets that Lonely ex girlfriend was talking about, right? You know, she said a few things where Destroy Lonely was jealous of Lucky, and not only Lucky, but even Don Tolliver, because it would be times where she would casually just play these dudes' music, and Lonely didn't want to hear that. He would just say some cruel things like why you listening to a person music and basically wait let me pause it right here yo it's a crybaby ass <laughs> mad over look lucky you verbally assaulted me or something like that for an entire 21 hour flight to germany was just talking straight smack to her calling her out on the name belittling her and stuff like that for 21 hours that's almost a whole day or somebody in your ear imagine a, a bee or a fly in your ear for 21 hours crazy all right and then she said when she finally snapped you called me a da 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 you called my mom and then try to play the victim so this dude called her mom and was like yo get your daughter she's doing this to me she's doing that but the whole time he da 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 i'm pretty sure if not that deep, we all know a nigga that's just like that or somewhat in those type of ways. You dig what I'm saying? But hey, nothing against his music or anything like that. But the type of person and human and man that he seems and sounds to be, ah, uh, it's kind of fishy. You dig what I'm saying? Making fun of the rappers that she just listened to casually, you know? It almost seemed like, you know, Lonely is just insecure. But we gonna talk about this Lucky situation because I think that's the most important one. And there's a lot of weird things with this. And we just gonna say observing from the outside in. The whole Lonely and Lucky situation goes back at least two years. Because Lucky and Lonely's ex-girlfriend named Aisha, right? They've been actually interacting with each other probably even longer than we think. Because some of these screenshots I'm finna show y'all go back 133 weeks ago Jeez. or even 30 or 20 weeks ago you know what i'm saying even when lonely ex-girlfriend would post a couple pictures you can see that you know lucky is under them like sometimes he would even comment under her post and look you i'm not no detective but i'm Indeed. guessing lonely was with this girl for about two years probably since Blind that no stylist era and the only thing we can tell right now is that lonely was feeling jealous or you know a little insecure during that whole relationship because i mean who wouldn't you know you feel like your girl getting around and stuff like that and she doing a couple of so honestly we all know a girl like that too like a lot of these dudes out here they like to go for you know the hottest thing in the room that one girl every man wants you know what i'm saying regardless of if they know they have a type regardless of if they know they have standards and morals and you know what i'm saying regardless if they even know they can get that girl every man kind of be trying to, you know da, 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 da. so it's a type of nigga group that will specifically go for those models and stuff like that, knowing the baggage that they bring, knowing they can't even really carry that weight. You know what I'm saying? But we know women like that who are just not going to delete Instagram. She's not going to delete Twitter. She's not going to delete her OnlyFans. This is what she do. Nigga, you can either get on board or you can get gone. You know what I'm saying? So he knows the situation he's in, yet he's trying to, you know, belittle her and show his insecurities in order for him to get his way which works for some people but it's not seeming to work for him especially being a celebrity and her knowing and talking to so many celebrities but of course he's insecure bro she's posting body pics all over the place she's got famous rappers famous probably actors and content creators commenting under her stuff dming her 24 7 i'm pretty sure they ain't did the phone swap challenge <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they haven't done that. So it's like, yeah, I, I know he's pretty insecure. You know what I'm saying? But even then, you put yourself in a situation where you made it seem like you were secure in that decision. So you got to rock with that, bro. You made that bed. You got to lay down in it. Especially if the internet's involved and you letting, you know, all of this stuff seep out, bro. That's like, that just looks weak, you know? And, and, and hate and, and weak, those are two, you know, 
not solid emotions to have, basically. You know what I'm saying? So skeptical things behind scenes like who wouldn't be aware of that and maybe i said maybe maybe lucky and aisha had something going on behind scenes but we don't know that i'm not gonna assume they were but yeah and the stuff i'm gonna show y'all now this might prove that this whole situation is real people aren't just making things up and the way how lucky been talking in this latest music he might actually be aiming at loan lucky last project he dropped called gemini right it's a few songs on there with each and a couple lyrics and stuff like that and it's starting to all add up the first track i'm to talk about is kylie lucky said i had a rapper that got fake beef with me and then if you had listened closely to outro lucky said i gave you the swag from your dad you hope i don't notice but it got a tag he richer than me a fact i hit her first so probably he mad you making your city look bad i hit a rose that boy lucky ain't like he richer than me that's a fast cool like i'm not even tripping he probably got more money than me because like Look at the type of deals that he signs. Look at the stuff that he's doing. Look at the people that he's around. Lucky chose to stay independent for the longest, even though he's probably like like a distribution deal, small things like that. But it's like, for the most part, I mean, like, you don't see Lucky around these big entourages. And even though Lucky can sell out an arena himself and sell out a show himself, you don't see him rocking out shows every single, like, weekend like they're trying to do, especially the big old events like that. Um, but, yeah and a track and it's crazy because after he you know said all this on his album and he dropped this aisha posted this screenshot the same day with the caption if you look like aisha and this was about two weeks ago when this album dropped if i'm not mistaken or even just a week ago and since all this stuff is being exposed about destroy lonely the ex-girlfriend you know she tweeting out and making all these statements and stuff right the part where lonely ex-girlfriend had made a tweet and talked about the whole lucky situation right if you go to lucky likes on twitter he actually even liked the tweet that lonely ex-girlfriend had posted about this so this is only telling me that yo yes there was definitely something going on behind scenes between lonely and lucky and this situation only got to the media because lonely ex-girlfriend decided to just rant on twitter and talk about the stuff that lonely allegedly did to her and lucky been telling us this whole time that yeah i've been tapped in with your girl i didn't already did my thing and i could just tell you got fake beef with me and you talking behind scenes and it's sad to say but the lucky fans and lonely fans just been going back and forth with each other because you know this whole scenario is kind of crazy and it just makes you think even more because maybe lucky knew this stuff already he just never said anything because like i said this goes back at least two years or a year if i'm not mistaken and the last thing i feel like lonely should be doing is making tweets for sure don't even interact with nobody about this scenario or anything like that because he already got a lot on his plate we were supposed to get an album all the way in april now we talking about him crack i'm telling you this man has been like pushing the, the album back 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 like a tape line you dig what i'm saying and it's crazy because even though the beef is about an ex, it's like you got twins with you now. You got one of the twins, you know what I'm saying? So it's like he didn't move on, but he still have left the feelings behind. You know what I'm saying? And it's showing for sure, for sure. I tell you what, if this next album ain't what it need to be, bro, Destroy Lonely might be Destroy Lonely at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. He got to he really, really tap in because people aren't really as fond of him as they used to be, especially when you got all these allegations floating over your head. Never mind, I ain't even going. But y'all pretty much know what's going on. It's a whole mess right now. The only thing we can say from the outside looking in is that Lucky and Lonely had their past situation and maybe it's still going on, but Lucky saying that Lonely got fake beef with him. But yeah, man, I'm done chatting. Is the nah, that's understandable for real. Lucky is a grown man, man. Lucky is unk. We all know that. In the underground, he is a legend. He is unk. He's been here for ages. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, why would he take the time to beef with you know destroy lonely you know when first of all there's a huge age difference probably not nah, lucky isn't i forgot bro he looks like he's older than he is but he's fairly you know fairly young so the beef age this it's understandable but as far as just mindset and where lucky is and where destroy lonely is yes lonely may have more money right now because of the positions that he in but in the long run i'm pretty sure lucky no is in a position that he's in because he knows what to do with his money and how to maintain it and stuff like that so the money is not really an issue in the argument it's just a matter of just some clout shit some internet shit some something to do type shit it's just we're bored it's something to do but maybe we both ain't had no beef in a minute we just need to let this out and speak on it type situation but as you can see lucky not even really stunting that whatsoever destroy need to get his shit together asap man make sure you like comment subscribe and follow me on ig at little papa day 187 man